Hi everyone, it's Justine. Shopping for swimsuits can be tricky because it shows so much skin, right? But I really think that everyone can wear swimwear. It's just a matter of finding one shape that suits you, that works with your body and that you feel comfortable in. That should be the most important parameter. So in this video, I want to give you tips for each body type, apple, inverted triangle, pear, hourglass, rectangle. If you don't know which body type you are, I've linked a video here in the corner and in the description below, so look there. Here, from now on, I'm going to assume that you know what body type you have. You will see that I tried something new in this video. It's a new uh, way of presenting a bikini guide. I hope you like it and let's start immediately with the rectangle. This is Miss Rectangle. I've drawn girls like that for each one of the body types. I think it makes it easier for you guys to see the proportions in full body. I've exaggerated the proportions a bit. You don't have to look exactly like that to be a rectangle, but that's the idea. Many models are rectangle. It depends on how lean the silhouette is, but that's pretty much it. The waist is not as marked as on an hourglass miss. The bust and the hips are narrower than an hourglass, but they have similar dimensions. So it's a quite balanced figure, really. Here, the strategy is to try to visually create the impression of an hourglass, and we can do that with the shape of the swimsuit and or with the pattern. So here is a bathing suit I could recommend for this body. It's a one piece suit with bare sides. The horizontal little stripes of fabric are here to keep the bathing suit flat against your skin, against your belly. So they're important for design, but what matters is really this shape created here. The neckline is round with a zipper. It could also be without a zipper. It could also be a V-neck, plunging neckline, or a high top if you prefer that. You have many possible options. The important thing is this effect here, created visually. On top of that, I added a pattern stripes of fabric in contrasting color to make sure people see that the waist seems narrower. Creates a very nice impression. You could also get that with a print. It wouldn't have to be different panels of fabric. That's the idea. Now, Miss Apple looks like this. The widest part in her body is the waist area and then bust and hips have similar measurements. That's only one example. She could also have a bit wider hips, but for this purpose, it doesn't matter. I'm assuming that you want enough support for the breasts and enough coverage around the belly. So I went for a high-waisted option rather than a low-waisted one. I feel most Apple ladies would feel rather comfortable with high-waisted garments. So I did the same for swimsuits. Here is the kind of design I would suggest for this type of body. It's two-piece swimsuit. As far as the top is concerned, it's actually a bra because it has proper boning to support the breasts. The cups are fitted. You see different seams, that's for proper fit. You could pad that a little bit homogeneously all over the cup. And the shoulder parts are wide enough for them to be comfortable. So that's one comfortable swimsuit bra, so to speak. And then the bottom is covering enough of the hips for you to feel comfortable and is high-waisted. I went up to the belly button, but you could go even higher than that. On top, I added drapery. That's attracting the eye towards the side where the white ring is. And because it's a contrasting darker color, it gives the impression that the bottom is actually not that high. So it minimizes everything. For good measure, I, I repeated this element here on the shoulder. So it gives a an ensemble, a combination that looks like it belongs together. And the little tied knot is a fun element, playful thing to add a bit of fun to a blue swimsuit. You could of course add patterns, but I feel like darker solid colors work a bit better on that type of design. If you don't like the drapery on the bottom, you could add on top of a regular swimsuit, a pareo that you tied on your hips and you can take it off when you go swimming, works too. Then comes Miss Hourglass. She has much more difference between wide bust, wide hips on one side and a thinner waist on the other side. It is a very feminine figure. It also makes it a lot harder to find clothing that fits when you have this body. So for a day at the beach, when it comes to swimwear, I thought you would like proper support for the breasts because that's always an issue when you have larger breasts. And you want two pieces because on a one piece bathing suit, the waist wouldn't fit again. <laughs> so here's what I would suggest. Two pieces. The top is a halter top, it holds everything up, good hold behind the neck. What you see grayed out at the back is a racer back. That gives you extremely good support without needing bones under the breasts. So it's more comfortable. And then for the bottom, I did not go for the obvious choice, which would have been a triangle bikini thing. I went for something more sporty. 
I love this kind of bottom because you can actually move, play and swim in it without having to check every five seconds that nothing's moving. <laughs> so that's one of my favorites. It works for every body type that feels comfortable in a sporty swimsuit. I added little cutouts to make something that's classy, a bit sporty, but still elegant. Our next candidate is Miss Inverted Triangle. I told you I exaggerated the proportions, so this one literally looks like an Olympic swimmer. Not all inverted triangle ladies look like this, <laughs> that's the extreme sporty type. But the idea is that the bust is wider than the hips and the hips are really narrow. So in terms of swimsuit strategy, I wanted to visually reduce the width of the breasts and increase the width of the hips to bring a bit of balance and, and look a bit more feminine, if you want to, only if you want to. So here is what I came up with. Two pieces. The top is a twisted bandeau, so instead of having one horizontal line making your bust appear even wider, it's broken in the middle, it creates a heart shape. Then the halter crosses in front of you before going behind your neck. That attracts the attention to your center and away from the shoulders, so you don't see the white shoulders anymore. Then the bottom is a traditional Brazilian bikini. And why did I pick the traditional surfer girl bikini? Because Surfer girls are train girls, they are often inverted triangles. That's the type of bikini that suits them perfectly because it has hip effect and adds volume to the side with the tight knots. Perfect for you. On top of that, I added a light print, but that's optional. Now comes Miss Pear. That's the most common body type on a woman worldwide. And Pear ladies have hips as their widest body part. I often hear peer ladies telling me, you know what, I have a big issue. I'm even one size bigger on the pants than I am on the tops and shirts. In terms of swimwear, that's no problem at all because you can buy the top and the bottom separately. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And the strategy overall is to attract the attention onto the bust away from your hips if you don't feel comfortable showing your hips. Here's what I came up with. The bottom is covering the hips enough for it to be comfortable. It is black because black is slimming, no print, very simple. All the drama is happening at the top. So this is a bandeau, horizontal impression, widens the bust area. And I added here this braided yellow thing. It could also be metal, it could be a different material. I added something happening on the chest. So there is a lot going on at the top and the attention is attracted to that area. If you want to add even more to the top, you could wear something that has embellishments, fringes, ruffles, big ruffles, different textures, anything that shines or and moves is perfect. More tips. Colors always play a role in clothing, also in swimwear. Remember that black is slimming, purple is sophisticated, red is catchy, catches the eye first. Neon colors look great when you are super tanned, warm undertoned, I've done a video on what colors mean. I link it here in the description below. You can have a look at that one later too. Then on prints, prints always attract the eye more than a solid color. So if you want people to look at your breasts because you like them, it's swimwear, that's fine. Then the top should have a print and the bottom should have a solid color. Vice versa, if you like your bum and you want people to look at that part, then the print should be on your bottom. If a part of your body is not symmetrical with the rest, for instance, if you had breast surgery at some point or a child on an operation somewhere, think of a top that looks like a bralette going down below the breast, but tight with boning, with padding in the cups, properly fitted. You can take a zipper, it fits it better and gives you proper support and that's what you need. On top of those general tips, if you need more inspiration, more alternatives, I link examples of swimsuits below for each body type. Have a look there. Everything I said in this video is can, not must. If you're a peer, you love your hips, show your hips, then switch bikini bottoms with Miss Inverted Triangle, and so on. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked me showing that in a drawn version. I think it's easier than showing it on pictures of people or on myself because I only have one body type. If you enjoyed that, a thumbs up. Thank you so much. I'll see you Wednesday and Sunday again. And until next time, happy swimsuit shopping. Bye-bye.